saw an update with the uh, weasel <clears throat> or mink or whatever it was. Uh, it's been, I don't know, about two weeks now, I guess. Never did get him. I check these traps every day. He sets off the rat traps. Never gets The caught. new chickens are coming next week, so I can't wait to catch him any longer. What I can do is get this roof fixed and go over this coop and patch any small holes that I've got left. I went and picked up the uh, plywood today. I'll show you something else here too. That trap over there is not set. That one over there is not set off. Doesn't appear that those two traps are set off, but look here in the corner. They are both set off. So I know he's still getting in here because he's setting the trap. Anyway, so the plan is I'm going to take this roof off. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix this. And then under this awning here, I had this wire. And I'm going to do it with hardware cloth. I thought about getting some concrete and pouring like around this to keep him from digging under. I'm just running out of time now. Work's been crazy. I just got to get this done. Let me show you what I got here, but I basically just toss everything over the side for now. Big spider down there on the wall. Same up there in the top right corner. He's probably as big as my hand. Never know what you're gonna find. Old chicken coop. These boards are all still good, even though they got a little wet on the top. This side over here is in way better shape, but I'm gonna go ahead and do them both the same way. This right here is what I'm gonna do a little bit different. So when I first built this, I put chicken wire and kind of wrapped it around. And this side, I didn't do anything. And I guess I've just been lucky that nothing could squeeze through there, I guess. But I'm gonna go ahead and fix that too. If I put this board on this side to hold that up and then it's kind of like a run on the inside. You kind of need some air circulation in a chicken coop. I can lay hardware cloth on top of this board, on top of this board nail it all the way down through there and I've still got the circulation and I can do it on both sides pretty easy I'll just put the hardware cloth down so I'll get started on that show you what I got here now so the only way that anything could get in here is if they come in under the eaves and of course I've got chicken wire in there but chicken wire rots out so what I did I come up and I put this hardware cloth and it's nailed here 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 and here all the way across and it's got nails here on the sides too and I did it on that side also so there's literally no way nothing could get in here now. 
unless they can get through this chicken cloth or get through the walls or the floor. This chicken coop was expensive to build in 2015. I think it cost me around $3,000. I did it all myself. again and you'd think somebody like me would have all kinds of nails but I almost always auto nail everything I found one nail gotta make it work that right there Put this right here Wore me out.
Yesterday we were fixing the chicken coop roof. I got it done, but my camera battery ran out. Let me just show you what I did. I'm not sure if it was in there where I run out of shingles. Trying to use basically, you know, stuff I already had on hand to keep costs down. I did buy the uh, plywood, but the actual shingles themselves I already had and I just used a piece of the old one. Um, I still got some cleanup to do. It turned out okay, the chickens aren't gonna mind. <laughs> and uh, I just wanted to finish this video up because my camera ran out of battery and I didn't really get a chance to do that. So that's what we got. Anyways, on to the next project, which is to get the deer out of the rhubarb.